Welcome to the Daily Quiz Podcast. Today's category is music. Let's get to it. Question 1. Paul McCartney wrote the song Martha My Dear. Who did he know who was named Martha? Is it A. His mother B. His alter ego C. His wife Or D. His dog The answer is D, his dog. Paul McCartney's beloved Old English sheepdog named Martha inspired the charming tune Martha My Dear. The song showcases McCartney's deep affection for his furry companion, highlighting the special bond between a pet and its owner. Martha even made a cameo appearance on the cover of the Beatles' album Abbey Road. Question 2 who had a number one hit with Puppy Love in 1972? Is it A. The Carpenters B. Donny Osmond C. Elton John Or D. David Bowie The answer is B. Donny Osmond Donny Osmond's hit Puppy Love in 1972 not only topped the charts but also made him the youngest male artist to reach number one on the Billboard Hot 100 at just 14 years old. The song's success solidified his status as a teen heartthrob and showcased his impressive vocal talent at a young age. Question 3. Who was the star behind Rocket Records? Is it A. Tom Jones B. David Bowie C. John Lennon Or D. Elton John The answer is D. Elton John Elton John's Rocket Records was not just a record label, but also a publishing company and management firm. Established in 1973, it signed artists like Kiki D. and Neil Sedaka. The label was known for its distinctive logo featuring a stylized rocket ship, reflecting Elton John's love for all things space-related. Question 4. Which song begins with the lyrics, Oh, Mama, I'm in fear for my life from the long arm of the law? Is it A. Welcome to the Black Parade by My Chemical Romance? B. I'll Make a Man Out of You by Donny Osmond? C. Circle of Life by Elton John? Or D. Renegade by Styx. The answer is D. Renegade by Styx. Renegade by Styx was actually inspired by a real life event. The song's lyrics were written after the band's guitarist, Tommy Shaw, witnessed a police chase in downtown Chicago. The experience left such an impression on him that he channeled it into creating this iconic rock anthem about being on the run from the law. Question 5. Which American rock band released the song Penny Royalty? Is it A. 3-6 Mafia B. Nirvana C. Counting Crows Or D. The Velvet Underground The answer is B. Nirvana. The song Penny Royalty by Nirvana was originally intended to be a single for their album In Utero, but due to the tragic passing of Kurt Cobain, it was never officially released as a single. Despite this, the song remains a fan favorite and showcases Nirvana's raw and emotional sound. Question 6. Who were Bobby Hatfield and Bill Medley? Is it A. The Temptations B. The Isley Brothers C. The Righteous Brothers Or D. Wham The answer is C. The Righteous Brothers Bobby Hatfield and Bill Medley, known as the Righteous Brothers, were not actually related by blood. Despite their soulful harmonies and close bond, they were not biological brothers. 
Their iconic hits like Unchained Melody and You've Lost That Love and Feelin' continue to captivate audiences worldwide with their timeless sound. Question 7. Which song begins with the lyrics, Do you remember the 21st night of September? Is it A. Yo Home to Bel Air? B. September by Earth, Wind and Fire? C. What I Got by Sublime? Or D. American Pie by Don McLean. The answer is B. September by Earth, Wind and Fire. September by Earth, Wind and Fire was actually recorded in the month of November. The band chose to release it in September because they believed the catchy tune and upbeat lyrics perfectly captured the essence of that month. It went on to become one of their most iconic songs, loved worldwide. Question 8. Who was the lead singer for Creedence Clearwater Revival? Is it A. John Fogarty? B. Paul Andrews? C. Jimmy Too Good? Or D. Bobby Tarbuck? The answer is A. John Fogarty. John Fogarty, the lead singer of Creedence Clearwater Revival, once wrote a song called Fortunate Son as a response to the Vietnam War draft. The song became an anthem for anti-war protests and is still considered one of the band's most iconic tracks. Fogarty's powerful lyrics continue to resonate with audiences today. Question 9. Which song begins with the lyrics, Tonight, I'm gonna have myself a real good time, I feel alive, and the world, I'll turn it inside out, yeah, I'm floating around in ecstasy. Is it A. Don't Stop Me Now by Queen? B. Welcome to the Black Parade by My Chemical Romance? C. Gimme More by Britney Spears? Or D. Crazy Train by Ozzy Osbourne? The answer is A. Don't Stop Me Now by Queen. Don't Stop Me Now by Queen is scientifically proven to be the happiest song ever recorded. A study conducted by neuroscientists found that its upbeat tempo, positive lyrics, and energetic melody create a sense of euphoria in listeners. So next time you need a mood boost, just hit play on this iconic track. Thanks for tuning in to this musical journey. Remember, life is like a melody, sometimes you hit the right notes, other times it's just a rest. Keep grooving. I'm Montgomery Jones. And I'm Amalia Dupre. Until tomorrow, farewell. This episode is produced by Classic Studios. See the show notes page for sources and credits. Check out our other podcasts in our network at classicstudios.com.